I'm going to show you how easy it is to create your own documentation website. Here's a documentation website for an email marketing company. The site has been fully customized to match the company's branding, including logo, navigation, color theme, and more. To the left is the table of content. This lists all the pages. Users can quickly filter as well as expand and collapse the table of content. In addition, there's also a keyword index. Here, you can list all your pages by keyword. Let's open up a page. As you can see, the page opened up in a new tab. When designing Help IQ, we tested several layouts, and users like tabs the best. For one, they can use tabs as a bookmarking system. When they read your documentation, they can open up pages of interest to them and come back later to read them. And two, they can jump between tabs, which makes it really easy for them to cross-reference data. And if they can't find what they're looking for, a powerful search feature allows them to quickly search and locate the documentation they need. Now let's jump in and create some documentation. I want to show you how easy it is to add a new page. To click New Page, as you can see a new page gets added to the table of contents. Let's go ahead and give the page a name. And let's go ahead and drag it into the desired location. Now let's go ahead and give the page a title and a keyword index. The content editor is a full WYSIWYG. What you see is what you get editor. You can do all the basics such as formatting, inserting images, linking to other pages, adding videos, and much, much more. But let's go ahead and add some content. Let's add a screenshot. And there we have it. We have most of our page built out. Final step is to go ahead and save it. And it's that easy. There's our new page. Now delivering help when and where users need it is the name of the game. That's why we've came up with some powerful contextual help tools. Let's say you have a web application and you want to have a link on a page that maybe says, help me with this page. But you can easily add this page to your web application. To do so, just go ahead and click on embed page and you can choose from a pop-up window or a light box. Let's do a light box and we can easily test it to make sure we like the way it looks looks good then all we have to do is copy this small code snippet now if you know HTML or you're the developer that's great just add this where you want the link to appear if not just email it to your developer really easy now let's go ahead and pull our web application up here and you can see here's our web application with a link that says help me for this page go ahead and click on that and there you have it. Here's the content pulled directly from Help IQ. Any changes you make to this topic will instantly update your web application. In addition to light boxes and pop-ups, we also have a tooltip engine. Now tooltips are small hover boxes that appear when you hover your mouse over a link or an icon or something like that. So let's go ahead and take a look. We've all seen forms like this with a lot of inputs and no real clear explanations. Well, with Help IQ, you can turn a form like this into a form like this. When you hover your mouse over each icon, an explanation appears. This content in the tooltip will be dynamically powered by Help IQ. So let's go ahead and create some. Let's go ahead and click on New Tooltip. Give the tooltip a name and give it some content here. And you can test it and make sure you like the way the tooltip looks. Um, you can also adjust the CSS, full control over the CSS for both pages and tooltips. And if you like the way it looks, go ahead and click save. And just like light boxes, a small code snippet generates. And all you need to do is copy this code snippet and add it to your website where you want the tooltip to appear. No documentation system would be complete without user feedback. So your users can easily rate topics as helpful or not helpful, as well as submit feedback. Here you can see one user gave the topic thumb up, one user is given the topic thumb down. 
Let's take a look at that. On the bottom of the page, users can easily just click thumbs up or thumbs down. So I'll go ahead and say thumbs up, as well as add a comment. And this comment will be immediately emailed to you, as well as it will store in the database and then you'll see the rating in the top. And that's just some of the many features of Help IQ. So go ahead and give it a try.